Raja Ampat is a place where you can get lost in nature. The name Raja Ampat comes from the four kings, which is Misol, Waigeo, Salawati, and Batanta. Hundreds of small, small islands, rock, islet, the birds, the plants, and the people. You can go scuba diving, you can go snorkeling, which is amazing, kayaking, trekking find a new species that no one else has seen before. The best way to explore Raja Ampat is by boat. It's like you have a floating hotel and you go diving or snorkeling from the boat and then um, you do your thing. Because of the vast area, you don't get too many people at one place. So you can be at one particular place and be on your own, really. I love to see people going like, wow, look at this. in the water and see all this beauty of the underwater, they are flabbergasted. Some of them, um, they come back to the dinghy or come back on board, they just like cannot speak for a few minutes. I was born and grew up in Jakarta. Uh, as a young boy, I used to sit down in front of the television watching Jacques Cousteau and his Calypso going around the world, including the area of Indonesian water. And I was so fascinated and I thought to myself, I would like to be like him. My father played a very important role for me because he was the one that introduced me to tourism in Indonesia. Now I'm taking people to this exotic, beautiful, amazing places that makes me feel very, very happy. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I love to see the expression of people first time they step their foot on the boat and experience new places. For me, it's a wonderful feeling to share it with them. I feel blessed. Raja Ampat for me is a never-ending exploration. I need like a 200 years to explore this whole area, or 300. <laughs>